First of all, this is how it works. You stand on it, it shakes, and it falls, and you die, and it will respawn. And I'll show you how to do this, how to customize it, and yeah. And obviously you can jump off, and the shaking doesn't affect uh, how you move either, which is good. Anyways, I will show how this is done. First of all, uh, you obviously need a part. Uh, you don't have to name it falling, but anyways, you have to anchor it so it doesn't fall in the void. And a server script is needed to put in here, and make sure you don't put a local script, make sure it's a server script. And I don't, this looks like a lot, but I'm going to explain it. Uh, also, the code is going to be uh, in the Discord. And the code is also going to be uh, inside a paste bin. So first of all, the debounce, uh, these debounce variables, you just make sure like you don't activate, uh, you don't activate like the part falling when it already has fallen. Um, and yes, yeah, okay, so basically, first it detects if... Um, the part that is parent to, which is the falling block, has touched another part. And if the part's parent has a humanoid, then it does this code. Basically, this detects if it's touching a player, because you don't want your falling block to fall when there's a part on top of it. You want it to fall when there's a player on top of it. So it detects just a, if there's a player, because uh, players all have humanoids. And it's, anyways, uh, players also have humanoid root parts, or basically the main part in the root part of the uh of the player so basically this detects if the player is actually above the part not below the part because you don't want it to fall when it's uh when the player is below you basically this is a detecting of the player's position the root part position is uh the y part which is the up down part is more than the uh parts parents uh size uh and position and the size divided by two plus three because uh yeah because the humanoid root parts in the middle anyways onto the actual code uh first we saved the position of like what the what the position of the part was before it falls and we clone the part and this clone is going to be the shaking part because if it if we make uh, the clone we need the clone to shake we can't let the actual part shake if the actual part shakes it's going to affect the player movement which will not be good so anyways the clone cannot collide in the clone is in workspace and since it's a clone it's already in the same place as uh, the other anyways uh we also saved the tick the tick is basically um uh, basically how many seconds have passed since the game started a uh, time it takes until it falls you can change this basically this is the, how many how many seconds for it uh, does it take for it to shake and when it's done shaking it fall like if i change it to 10 it'll shake for 10 seconds and then fall this is the shaking script, uh, which basically just moves the clone really fast. After it's done shaking, the clone is destroyed, and an actual falling block uh, collision is off, so the player falls through it. And this tween right here is basically just moving the part downward. The time it takes to respawn is obviously just how many times it takes to respawn. Uh, you can adjust this however you like. If I change it to 50, it'll take 50 seconds until same falling bark uh, appears and if you don't want your falling block to respawn i mean it's supposed i mean i suggest you and make it respond if you don't want to though you can just delete the part whenever this happens anyways and after it respawns the part can collide again so the player can actually walk on top of it and and this is the animation for it going back up and it waits one second defaults and debounce equals false it waits one second debounce equals false uh, which means that it waits one second after being after responding before it can uh, before it can fall again, and yeah, and also and and changing changing the scale and rotation of the part it won't matter. You can customize your part however you want. You can add, you can change the material, you can change the color, stuff like that, and you can make a basic obby course like this. Uh, this this script is really good for obbies. And one more tip: if you're making obbies. I suggest turning uh, content streaming on, uh, which basically just makes your character's uh, computer lag less. And everybody knows lagging less is a good thing, so I suggest you turn it on, and that jump was impossible. Anyways, yeah, that's, that's it for this video. You can remember.